Salt Zeta here, and welcome back to more Let's Play Kirby's Epic Yarn. In the last episode, we finished off Grassland by fighting the boss and doing the two bonus episode levels. <laughs> Not episodes, levels. And in this episode, we're going to be starting on Hotland. Because we all know that Kirby is a true epitome of hotness. Am I right or am I right? Come on. How can you say no to this face? Anyways. Let's head to Pyramid Sands. Pyramid Sands Undertale. And, um... Enjoy the scorching desert. And we have more quicksand. Yee. Bring me down. Dwee dwee doo doo doo. Doo dee doo doo. Dee 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 doo. Hello. Tornado! That tornado's carrying a Kirby, and that Waddle Dee's carrying a movie reel. Oh, nice! This is this is cool. I like that. I like these abilities. They're like they're not necessary, but like they just. Add a little neat functionality. It's it's cool. I can really see why they called this extra epic yarn because it, it's it's Kirby's e epic yarn, but with extras. Like it is kind of the perfect name in a way. I love the baseline in this song. Do 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 do. do. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to hit you, but whatever. Alright. So, this is a two-parter thing. I wanna get him here. Grab you. Didn't actually need to grab that, but whatever. Let me go. Haha! I don't need to be afraid of you! We have cactus juice! It's the quenchiest! Let me go. Yee. Something interesting I, re I was reminded of between episodes, actually. Uh something I wanted to just bring up as a neat little feature. This is the first Kirby game, well, the original Epic Yarn, at least, that was released after I started Let's Play. My Mega Man 2 Let's Play was September of 2010. This game released in October. So, when I first played this game, was when Yoshi's Island was going out for the first time. That's the kind of nostalgia this game's bringing me right now. Way back when, to then. I remember playing this game in a room that I have not gamed in, in since, basically. Because, like, normally for console games around that time, I would play them in my basement. Which is where a lot of games got recorded, like, say, Paper Mario and Skyward Sword, and a lot of, all the, basically anything on a console for a long time was recorded just in my basement. But, before console, the consoles went back to the basement, and I did that, I would play games like on the Wii, in my guest room, which is kind of across the... Ow. Just kind of across the hall from my room right now. I knew there was, like, a way to go faster. 
Uh, if you win the race here, you get extra points. I don't know if I'm going to win the race, though, because I immediately got hit. But I'm going to try. There we go. Haha. -ha. Yay! Gems everywhere! And now I murder the other competitors, because I'm a sore winner. But yeah, I used to play in guest room. And like, I remember doing stuff like playing Brawl with Tor Kirby at that time, and like, in that room, and just... I remember playing Donkey Kong Country Returns for the first time in that room. It is just... It's weird because like... I haven't obviously described the room, but it's like, it's not really what you would consider a gaming room. It's a bedroom for the guests, so it's just got a big bed in it, and it's like, there's a small little white swivel chair thing, armchair thing, and like, there's a big wooden dresser with an old CRT that used to be inside there, and that's where I would play on the Wii, and like, <laughs> uh, I'm, just, I'm just nostalgic, and that that's where I first experienced Kirby's Epic Yarn, and I, rem I remember... There's a level later in a game that I remember spending a really long time on and being in that... For some reason, it's just... That level specifically is, like, ubiquitous with being in that room for me. I don't know why, it just is. We'll get there later, but I'll, for, I'll say just for those who have played this game, the level was Tube Town. So I think that explains everything. Oh, man, lava landing! <laughs> Now that's a, another good throwback to me, and like, oh man, who remembers, without being told right now about it, who remembers when I tried to make a freaking 8-bit version of this song in Famitracker way back when? Like, holy crap. <laughs> I don't even remember how that sounds. Future ulti. Uh, why don't you, like... Throw that in to the end of this video, just for the sake of it. Like, not in the middle of the level, like, just like, at the end, just put in the original video of that, just like, cause like, now I'm just curious. But I also don't really want to give that original video views, cause like, it sucks. Also, I have stars! Oh! Interesting, interesting. Interesting, interesting. Choof, 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 choof. It's like I'm throwing darts. Choof. Choof, choof, choof. Choof. I I think we can get those things if we just let them be. Well, gotta time it up better, I guess. <laughs> I like just standing on the guy and he's like, yeah, I'm out of here. Also, let's not destroy them all. Okay, give me the thing. I have a stone lamp. Well, cool. Thank you, hitboxes. I still want to see what's up here. Treasure. That's what up here. Cartoon meat. Yum. Oh, I become string. Let's get these ones. Ooh. 
Oh, I'm really interested in seeing how this works now, actually. This was originally controlled by motion, I think. And there's another one, another one of these abilities later on that, like, even more motion-y? This is, it actually kind of controls a bit awkwardly because it's like, it's just way too sensitive. Like, I, I tap a button and it goes that far. Like, wow. It is very sensitive right now. God, I love this song. There's a reason why I chose to 8-bitify it, even if I was terrible at it. This is really hard to aim! I can't- it's- it's so imprecise. Go away. I'll deal with that thing in a second. God, I can't- It's just a stream. Aim up. There we go. This is hard to deal with. I'm glad this is a slow-paced game, because if, it, if I had to do this fast, like, oh, God. Also, one thing I'm interested in is if I'm going to need to collect gems in devilish mode, or if I just need to avoid getting hit. Because that's the kind of situation where it would be, like, I do need to kind of go fast. Ah, oh, now, Volcano Explosion. You know what game this really reminds me of a lot of? Which is why I think I like it so much. It reminds me of Yoshi's Story. Because, like, it's an easy, simple game with a, with a nice, cute, cutesy, cartoony, uh, crafts art style. And a lot of people were like, oh, it's way too easy, oh, it's way too simple. But then it's like, you have to, like, try and do, like, the special challenge, whether it's the melon challenge or, like, the get all the beads that you want and get good ranks and stuff. And then it's like, suddenly the game does gain, like, a lot more, like, challenge for those who want it. But... It's still also a very easy and chill and relaxed and fun game. So it does kind of have a lot in common with Yoshi's story. Which is why I think, again, it worked so well that they ended up making uh, the Crafted World and Wooly World's games and stuff. Like, it just fit with Yoshi already. No wonder why I once tried to cross over Yoshi and Kirby. <laughs> also, hmm, that was only about 15 minutes. I could just do a th another level right now if I wanted to. Huh. I mean, I'm not even really trying to go super crazy fast. I'm just playing and having a good time. Also, winner, winner, boxing dinner. Uh, cool cave. You know what? Sure. Why not? Actually, this actually could probably work, because the bosses aren't not that long, so if I just do three levels, then it's like there's six levels per world, and a boss, so one level will have a boss. So I can just beat every level, every world in this game with two episodes from here on out, I think. That's unexpected. Because there's only seven worlds in this game, I should say. Seven worlds, so there's two... So, like, what I was expecting was, like, about 20, 
21 plus episodes, because like three, three levels per world. It's, it's basic math. Um. Uh... Oh, that's this one, okay. See, I knew I could do that. So, I was, I was expecting this to be about that length, because 20, 21, 3 episodes, but, but if I do that... Now, from here on out, that's six worlds. Six, six times two is twelve, plus the original three. I'd be done in about fifteen approximate epi uh, episodes of, of this game. Which I suppose is not really that bad. All things considered. Not a crystal. And the reason why I say plus is because a, it's like it's always good to be a have backup ideas and or like not be like no to not be like super rigid, like to expect that there could be changes or modifications or things might take a little bit longer than expected, or I could just mess around and stuff. And I will, I do think I am gonna probably do like a mini game episode or two where I just try out A, the DDD and Meta Knight mini games, and B, uh, showcase the Zeke and Mara and stuff. Well. I say Mara, because that's another character we haven't met yet, but we'll meet them soon. Like I said, there's a, there's five different kinds of tenants who give you mini games like that, so. Please move the way I want you to. Go away. I love how chill this game is. I mean, it makes sense. This is Cool Cave, after all. This ability makes this section really easy. That's probably why they gave you this ability in this section. I'm just gonna check to make sure I didn't miss anything with this. Oh, okay, we're good. Yeah, you're not normally supposed to be able to get stuff to kill those guys with. Now that's interesting. Do I want this? Sure. say I was kind of curious how this game was going to end up looking on the Wii compared to like screw you I was curious how this game was going to end up comparing I right now I don't know if I would say it's better or worse but it looks fine I would really need the, 
to actually compare it, which I think is a good sign. Okay, thank you. Now I can go. Oh, wow, I didn't remember that the drop enemy was in more than just Patch Castle. Thank you for the extra jump, friend. Go away. Don't get spiked! This is slow. I am having problems maneuvering. I'd use the D-pad, but the D-pad is like in a really weird position. Ow! No! No! All my stuff is gonna go away, isn't it? God damn it! It's so hard to not be a car! Every time I try and move anywhere! Anytime! It just cars me and I don't want to be a car! I just want to walk! Because like, when you bump into something as a car, it's, it genuinely throws you off. And I don't want to be a car! I'm gonna complain about that because holy crap, that was not a problem I ever had before and I'm not gonna get a gold rank on this level now because of this. Like, seriously, it is genuinely- I cannot not be a car in this game! They made it way too sensitive, I think. This is a pretty chill game, so I don't think they needed to. I mean, I guess I still have a chance, so long as I can get the silver medal, if I can get the- and then I can get the red thing, I can still probably get gold medal. It just- It's just rough to- Not- I don't feel like it's my fault is the thing. Like, there are times when it's definitely easy to be like, oh, yep, that's obviously my fault. But it's just hard to not be a car in this game. It's a really weird problem to say out of context, but it's definitely true. Also, this is a long level. I'm, I'm, I'm notice- I'm just noticing that, cause... like flamer wannabes up in here. I'm just gonna try and collect every gem I possibly can. Cause I need them. If I wanna get a gold rank, I need them. Although I suppose, all things considered. If Cool Cave is the level I need to revisit, not that bad. Frog mirror! And I don't think I can get it. I don't think this is gonna be enough. Oh, it was! Wow! You get more from that than I thought. I thought it was just one full thing. Cool! 
You bailed me out, Bell. You bailed me out. You bailed me out, in fact. Thank you very much. I'm gonna have to be a little more careful. I wish the D-pad was in a better spot on the 3DS, because it'd be more... It'd probably be a little bit easier to just tap and walk more calmly, but it's also just in a weird spot for the thumb. Not exactly the most comfortable. Oh well, let's cook some yarn meat. He's a sleepy dinosaur! Eat the meat! As dinosaurs are wont to do. Even though this dinosaur looks much like a, an Apatosaurus, or a Brontosaurus, or whatever. You know, long neck. And I'm pretty certain those were... Uh, what do you call it? The opposite of meat eater. Plant eater. Car herbivore, that's the word I'm looking for. Herbivore. He vored that meat. And with that, next time on Let's Play Kibber, we go to Dino Jungle. But not Dino Dino Jungle. Because we're not in Mario Kart. <laughs>